Hi, my name is Jim Moyle, and today we're going to just look at how to create a app attach application. And we're going to be using Teams as our demo app. We're logged into the Azure portal into the Azure Virtual Desktop Service, and we're going to choose the menu item app attach here. Now you can see we haven't got any app attach packages to display. So before we do anything here, we'll need to download the MSX package for the new Teams app and we're going to need to convert it into a disk image. Because the host pools that I'm intending to use this on are Windows 11, I'm going to choose SIM as the file type, um, which is an extremely efficient uh, format for the uh, application. So if I was using Windows 10, I'd probably use VHDX. And we could see we've su successfully created the sim file. We can see the uh, files I've created there. And I'm just going to upload those in the background to my storage account. Now that's done. We're going to create our app attach package. We're going to select a host pool and because we've put it onto Azure Files, we can actually browse Azure Files for our SIM file. So let's select that. We're now extracting the information about that. We can see that inside this package is our 64 bit teams we're going to pick a display name for that which is going to be Microsoft Teams we'll register at logon and we'll mark it as active um, on demand just means that it registers when uh, you click the application register registers it asynchronously at logon uh, inactive and active it just turns it off and on health check status on failure so if anything goes wrong, I'm going to mark the uh, session as needs assistance uh, rather than uh, unhealthy. Unhealthy, if something goes wrong, it will prevent logons. Do not fail, it will never cause an error. That's useful when you're testing and you know you don't want to raise alerts for the app failing when you're just creating a new one. Um, I'm actually going to pick another uh, host pool to mount this to. And for this, uh, I'm going to assign the uh, Teams users group to be able to use this application. I could add tags if I want. And now I'm going to review and create my app attach. Now that's successfully created, we can see the configuration with the display name. We can see the properties, including dependencies, no dependencies for Teams, which is nice. Uh, we see what applications are in there. So we have Teams updates and Teams auto solder, etc. But we, we're only gonna need the Teams one. All right, so um, every five minutes, the uh, host pools that we've assign this application to, we'll check to see if there's a new application which has uh, been assigned to them, or we can force the issue by uh, rebooting the uh, session host because uh, it always checks at boot to see if there's a new application. So I'm just gonna restart the session host right now. And now it's restarted, we'll connect to um, our host port. And in the start menu, we can see that we have teams added instantaneously to our session host. So that is how to create and assign an AppAttach application from an existing MSX inside your desktop. 
what we can also do is I have a host pool here for my remote apps and if I go to the application groups and I don't need uh, multiple application groups here I'll just remove some old ones there and what I can do is I can add app attach and we can see we have teams available we could even put a nice description in there if we want and we'll put a nice uh, application identifier for arm there we can see we've found a nice icon and then we're going to add that application to our remote app group and now we've refreshed our feed we can start teams as a remote app if we want to do so and here we have teams started as a remote app on our post ball. One more thing to note is that because you are now controlling the version via the AppAttach application, if we go back to our desktop and we'll run regedit, we can see that in this key we've managed to disable auto update. The reason for this is because AppAttach is read only and if you update via app attach that means that you have complete certainty that all of your uh, users are on exactly the same version of teams and if we have a look at the documentation we can see that uh, we have documented that uh, key you can obviously uh, distribute that registry key however you like and um, thanks very much for listening uh, hopefully this is the first of a series. Uh, let me know in any comments below uh, what uh, you would like to see around AppTouch, whether it's automation where uh, PowerShell or updating or anything else. Um, if you enjoyed this, hit like, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank you very much.